Hey everyone, my name is Allie and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a haul of a bunch of books that I've bought in the past about three or four months and I'm really excited to show you guys all of these books and talk about them a little bit but there are quite a few so I don't really want to spend too much time on this intro and we're just going to get right on into it. So the first book that I have is actually an arc of The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetys and I've never actually read anything from Ruta Sepetys. I've been really interested in her books mainly because I really enjoy historical fiction. I just haven't really ever gotten the chance to read anything from her. So when Penguin reached out to me and asked me if I wanted this arc, I was totally on board. What really interested me about this book is that it kind of revolves around some history that I'm not super acquainted with. And basically it says on the inside, Madrid 1957, under the fascist dictatorship of General Francisco Franco, Spain is hiding a dark secret. And I've never really learned anything about this history. I've never really read any books set in this time period. So this was definitely a book that I was really interested in. And I hope that I can get into it soon because I've been wanting to read something from Ruta Sepetys for literally forever. And I hear so many good things about her books and I definitely kind of have a pretty high expectation for this one. The next arc is one that you all know I'm super excited about and that is A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Khmer and I am so happy that I have this arc. I was supposed to read it this month. I didn't really end up getting to it but this is still on my TBR. It's one that I'm going to get to as soon as possible and I'm just so excited for it. I loved A Curse So Dark and Lonely. It was just so wonderful. One of my new favorite fantasy reads and I'm sure this one is going to be a great follow-up to that book and I'm just so excited to kind of like rejoin these characters, rejoin this world, and enjoy some of Bridget Khmer's writing again. So if you didn't know, A Curse So Dark and Lonely is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and this is a sequel so I can't really tell you too much about it but just know that I really enjoyed A Curse So Dark and Lonely and I'm super excited to have this arc. The next arc is another sequel that I didn't actually know was a sequel and that is The Mat From Here to There by Emery Lord and I received this arc as well and I did not know that it was a sequel to a book that I already owned but haven't read yet and I was a little nervous because I was like now I need to read one other book just to read this one but it ended up being okay because I did read that first book and that book is The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord and it was absolutely fantastic I gave it a four out of five stars I really really loved it and I'm about a little more than halfway through this arc I'm really really enjoying it I kind of had to take a little bit of a break from it but I still really am enjoying this arc and I cannot wait to finish it and see where it goes and I think it's a really 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 great addition to the first book, The Start of Me and You, and it's just so cute and adorable. I love this series, and I totally recommend it if you're looking for a new contemporary semi-romance. The last arc I have in this stack is Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron, and I got this one in a box, which was so cool. And I'm super excited to read this arc. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't really found another fantasy that I'm super excited about. So I'm hoping that this will be the next fantasy that I'm excited about. And it just sounds really cool. I know I did talk about it in a video before, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But isn't the cover like just so gorgeous and beautiful and amazing? And I'm pretty sure this comes out in September. So September 19th is when you should keep an eye out for this book. And I think it's going to be one that a lot of people like. I'm really excited to get to it before the day that it's released. And yeah, just a cool little arc that I got. The next book is actually really cool because it is my first book of the month YA pick. And that is Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. And I gave this a five out of five stars. I really, really loved it. And it was just so much fun to kind of get to read something very different from what I normally read. I'm not typically an urban fantasy kind of reader, but this one was so different and so intriguing that I literally could not pass up on it. And also I do like watching 
watching K-dramas every once in a while and this is very highly influenced by K-dramas so I really enjoyed it and if you like K-dramas you're probably really going to like Wicked Fox. The next book is one that you've heard me talk about literally a billion times since I read it and since I bought it and it didn't end up going in my last haul so that's a little weird but it is Again But Better by Christine Riccio. I gave this a four out of five stars. I really really enjoyed it. I also painted the edges blue and I just think it's so cute. Literally one of my new favorite books and I'm gonna move on to the next one. The next book is one I'm sure a lot of you have already seen and that is The Modern Fairy Tales by Holly Black. This is basically a bind up of I think three of her novels or like three of her earlier novels and these are ones I've never read before. I'm pretty sure it has Tithe, it has Valiant, and then it has Ironside. So it's a pretty cool bind up. I got the paperback edition because it's kind of a huge book and I figured that if I did actually want to read from this bind up, I wouldn't read it as a hardcover because it's just gonna be so heavy. And I really like this uh, paperback. It's actually like really floppy, which is nice. So it kind of like sits open very nicely as you can see. And I'm definitely really interested in getting to read some of Holly Black's earlier works because I've only read The Cruel Prince and The Wicked King from her and I haven't read anything else. So I definitely need to kind of go back into Holly Black's writing and experience some of her earlier work. The next one is one I actually don't know too much about, but I really enjoyed the cover. And it is, this is kind of an epic love story by Kieran Callender. And I know that they have written other books. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what other books, but I'm pretty sure that they have some other ones. And this says... Nathan Bird doesn't believe in happy endings. Although he's the ultimate film buff and an aspiring screenwriter, Nate's seen the demise of too many relationships to believe that happy endings exist in real life. So this sounds super interesting. It's a very, very short book, but I really loved the cover. It was so bright and eye-catching that I kind of just had to pick it up and see if I would enjoy it. And I think that I'll really end up liking it. So if you've read this book and you enjoyed it, let me know down below. Or even if you didn't enjoy it, let me know down below. The next book was written actually by a fellow YouTuber and that is The Paper and Heart Society by Lucy Powery and I haven't really heard very many people talk about this book but I saw it around I think maybe on Twitter somewhere and I'm pretty sure that I follow Lucy and I was like okay I have to pick this book up I have to read it it looks so adorable and it says on the back Tabby Brown is tired of trying to fit in she doesn't want to go to parties in fact she would much rather snuggle up on the sofa with her favorite book it's like she hasn't found her people and I thought that was really interesting and I just love the cover it's so cute and it definitely sounds like a book that I might be able to relate to which is always fun and I don't know it just looks like a really cute fun light read and those are always the best for when you don't really know what you want to pick up. So now we're getting into some of the more adult books that I've picked up recently and the first one is Starcrossed by Minnie Dark and I love this cover so much it's literally gorgeous I love the dark blue and then like the oranges and the hand and the stars and it just sounded like a book that I would really enjoy it says sometimes even destiny needs a little bit of help when childhood sweethearts Justine Sagittarius and serious skeptic and Nick Aquarius and true believer bump into each other as adults a life-changing love affair seems inevitable to Justine anyway and I thought that, that was super interesting that, you know, it's kind of based off of different astrological signs and like it has a lot to do with astrology. And I was really into astrology as a kid. Not so much anymore. I've kind of fallen off the astrology train, but I would love to kind of get back into it. And I figured that this book would kind of speak to me a little bit. And I'm just super excited to read this book, except for the fact that there's an Aquarius and mmm. I have too many Aquariuses in my life as it is. If you are also into astrology, you might enjoy it as well. If you have read it, let me know what you thought about it because I am really excited to read it ASAP. And the next two books are ones that I've gotten from Book of the Month, not Book of the Month YA, but just like the adult Book of the Month, the normal one. And the first one that I picked up was Dominicana by Angie Cruz. And I'm definitely putting this on my Latinx book bingo readathon uh, TBR, which I'll post at some point probably closer to the actual date of the Latinx book bingo readathon. 
but I saw this book on there and I knew that I had to pick it up because I love the cover. I've been really into the more illustrated covers recently and I thought this one looked super interesting. 15 year old Anna never dreamed of moving to America the way the girls she grew up with in the Dominican countryside did. But when Juan Ruiz proposes and promises to take her to New York City, she must say yes. And that totally hooked me. I thought it was super, super intriguing and definitely something I've never really read before. And it's super short, so I don't think it's gonna be too long of a read. And I've been really wanting to get into more adult books. So I figured that using book of the month would kind of be a great starting off point for trying to kind of dip my toes into some more adult books that I might enjoy. And thankfully I have Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte and she let me use her link which got me two books for the price of one on my first month for book of the month and I was just so excited and I can't wait to read this for the Latinx book bingo readathon. And then the next book that I got was Well Met by Jen DeLuca. I also got this for the book of the month and this one says a laugh out loud romantic comedy debut where a little flirtation between sworn enemies proves that all is fair in love and war. So basically I'm pretty sure this kind of revolves around a renaissance fair which I've never read and I've never experienced a renaissance fair so that's going to be super exciting to read about and I love the cover as well because it is illustrated. I'm loving the illustrated covers and I also love Hate to Love so it's, there's kind of a lot of things to really reel me in with this book and if you've read it let me know what you thought about it because I am just so excited to get into it and I'm very glad that it was a pick for book of the month. So with all that book of the month talk I will be putting links down below for both my book of the month YA which I do receive a commission if you decide to use my link and sign up for book of the month YA and then I'll also leave a link down below for book of the month just like the regular one the adult version and those will all be down in my description. Okay, on to some more books. I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster because I still have quite a few books and I've already been filming for 20 minutes. So I'm really gonna try to go through these books. The next one is fun because it is signed and that is This Time Will Be Different by Misa Sugira. And it is a signed first edition. I got it from my local bookstore. There is the signature. And this one sounds really interesting. I don't know too much of what it's about, but the cover is gorgeous. And I really wanted to start getting into kind of more deep contemporaries, I guess. I really don't know how to explain it. Something that isn't a fluffy contemporary, because I feel like every time I reach for a contemporary, it's fluffy and I never really get into kind of the more deep topics within YA contemporary. And this seemed like a good book to kind of dip my toes into the water with. The next book is Tell Me How You Really Feel by Amina May Safi and this is a sapphic book and I'm pretty sure it's Hate to Lovers so I'm super excited to read it and it's really short and it just looks super cute. I love the cover. It's so gorgeous. The next book is Where I End and You Begin by Preston Norton and I ended up picking this book up from my local bookstore and when one of the workers there noticed that I was gonna buy it she's like "Ooh, I'm really excited about that book and I just figured oh my gosh now I have to pick it up. Also I was reading the author's biography at the back and it says that he's bisexual and I'm like okay now I really have to pick it up and I'm just excited about it. I love the cover. I love all of the colors that are used. And it's a really fun texture. It's like kind of a rougher texture, but it's also kind of nice to feel. The next book is one that I've seen a little bit on my timeline, so I kind of had to pick it up. And that is Like a Love Story by Abdi Nazemian. And I love this cover so much. Like I would die for this cover. I think it's just so gorgeous. Like the spine is beautiful. The front is beautiful. The back is gorgeous. So I was definitely really excited to pick it up. And it is set in 1989 in New York City, which is kind of like the most Taylor Swift thing I've ever heard in my entire life. So I kind of had to pick it up. And the next book is one I got from Harper Teen and that is Tour of Ancients by Madeline Rowe. And I am just so excited to read the series. I definitely want to get into it closer to October 31st, which is Halloween. And I feel like it's going to be the perfect series to kind of read either 
a little bit before Halloween on Halloween and then maybe a little bit after just kind of like to keep me in the mood. The first book is House of Furies and I know not a lot of people have read it or at least a lot of people that I know haven't read it. So it's definitely a series I'm kind of going into and not really knowing what to expect but I have read a little bit of the first book and I really enjoyed it so I'm excited to continue with this series and to kind of have all of the books so I can just marathon everything. I had to go get my other stack of books. The next two books are ones that are required reading for my literature class. So I have Seduction of the Minotaur by Anais Nin. And then I also have The World's Greatest Short Stories edited by James Daly. So I have these two books that are required reading. The next book is A Blade So Black by L.L. McKinney. And this is kind of a Alice in Wonderland retelling and I'm super excited about it. I've never read an Alice in Wonderland retelling and I just love the cover. And I don't know, I follow the author on Twitter and she was talking about her book and it just really made me want to pick it up. So I'm really excited to get to this book at some point this year, probably. The next book is one that I was sent from my very sweet friend Whitney from Witty Novels and she sent me Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson because I sent her my arc of this book. And I'm so grateful that she sent it to me. She gave me a little note on the inside and I am just so excited to get more into this book. I've already read about 94 pages of it. I definitely need to continue on with this book. I just love Margaret Rogerson's writing. It's just so beautiful. I love the way she does fantasy. Totally timeless, a classic. And I'm just really excited to continue with this book. I know it's going to be a new favorite. So the last three books are ones that I bought while I was half asleep at midnight and I just put these all in my cart on Amazon and bought them and we have to live with that now. And I'm just super excited about the books I picked out. I, I clearly had a little bit of idea of what I was doing. <laughs> so the first one is one that I have been anticipating forever. It came out a little while ago, never picked it up, and now I finally have it. And it is Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hardstark. And I love their podcast so friggin' much. I love it. It is amazing. It like has everything that I love about podcasts and about true crime. It's funny. It's empathetic. It's beautifully done, beautifully produced, and they are such wonderful hosts. They definitely reel you in and keep you listening. Their podcast is My Favorite Murder, and I am just so happy to have this book. This is them on the back cover, and mm, I'm just so excited. It's a very short book, so it's going to be a really fast read, but I'm just, mm, I'm really excited. If you don't know me, you don't know how much I love true crime, especially true crime podcasts. I love them so much. Can't listen to them a lot because then I'll get nightmares and then I'll get super paranoid. But when I'm able to listen to them, I really enjoy them. So I'm so glad that I finally have this book in my hands. It was definitely marked down enough to where I was like, okay, I can buy it. I think it's about $9, which is like absolutely amazing. And I'm just so excited to read it. I love them. I love their podcast and I would literally do anything for this book. The next book is another one that's going to go on to my Latinx book bingo readathon TBR and that is Nocturna by Maya Montaigne and I am so happy that I finally have this book. This one was also marked down pretty good. I think it was about nine dollars as well and look at how gorgeous this book is. I'm sure you've all seen this book before. I know a bunch of people hauled it and I'm so glad that I finally have it. I think it's gorgeous. And I'm so excited that the Latinx book being a readathon is so soon. Like I can literally feel it, I can taste it. And I'm definitely putting this on my TBR. I'm totally going to get to it for that readathon. And mm, it's just gorgeous. It's a fantasy, it's Latinx, and I am just ready for it. So the very last book in this haul is Serious Moonlight by Jen Bennett. This book was also marked down really, really good. I think it was maybe eight bucks. And I am just so excited to read this. I'm gonna keep it off until maybe winter, probably around late November, early December. I feel like that's gonna be the perfect time to read this book. It seems super cozy, very aesthetic, and I'm just really excited. I've never read anything by Jen Bennett, so this is gonna be my first book from her. And I hope that I chose the right book to kind of start off reading Jen Bennett, because I know that so many people love Alex approximately, and Starry Eyes, I think, is her other book. 
So I'm hoping that Sirius Moonlight is just as good as all of her other books. Okay, so that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like I want to do my hauls in kind of a different format from now on. I just feel like this format isn't really working for me anymore. Maybe I need to do it a little bit more casually. Maybe I need to do it by my bed where I'm more comfortable. But I feel like hauls have always been such a hard thing for me to film, mainly because I just feel so awkward filming them. So if you have any suggestions on how to kind of spice up a haul, let me know down below in the comments. And I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!